VirginiaSports.com here with men's golfer Ben Roosh. Ben, you're redshirting the current season for the Cavaliers, but you had an interesting experience recently. You competed in the World Amateur Team Championships for Team Switzerland. Tell us a little bit about how you became a member of Team Switzerland and who else was competing for you, with you. Um, well, I got a member of, of the Swiss national team, I don't know, five, six years back. And um, I mean, I've been nominated for to play for Switzerland in several, in several occasions. Um, this year, we were a three-man team playing down in Turkey and it's just the three best players in Switzerland according to the, the world ranking and just results in general over the summer. And how did your team do in the World Team Amateur Championships? Um, we didn't do that good. I think we finished like 40, 40 second or something like this which was um, not what we expected. I thought we had a pretty good team. We probably had a better team than two years ago in Argentina. I played there as well. So it was kind of disappointing, but still a great, great experience. Now, most of the players that compete in a tournament like that, Coach Sargent referred to it as kind of the Olympics of golf because you really don't have an Olympic golf tournament, but this is teams from around the world competing against other. What's the age group? Who are some of the players that compete there? Yeah, it was, it was very special. I mean, you had countries from all over the world. I think we had like a new record. I can't remember whether it was 72 or 75, but really a lot of countries and a lot of countries where golf is not as developed as in America or in Europe so we've had a lot of exotic players which uh, probably didn't you know are not on the same level as all the good countries but um, all the all the good the good players I mean some of them are still in college or most of them actually I mean the American team they're all obviously all college players but even I mean we had two two college players and in several other countries had a couple of college players as well so they're all like my age right around between 18 and 25. Now what was it like, have you ever played golf in Turkey before? What was the course like? What was the setting like? The crowds like? Things of that nature. Uh, I've played I've played in Turkey before the same place but not the same golf course. Um, golf is developing over there it, quite quickly actually. Um, so the course was kind of like a tree line course. We played two, two different courses. One is the course where they played a world golf final like the week after with Tiger and Rory and all these guys played and the other course was really really narrow one of the the narrowest course I've ever played so you, you really had to play hit your shots very accurate. You, you've been fortunate to be able to play a lot of international golf a lot of international courses what, what are some of the more memorable golf courses you've ever played what are some of the favorite ones? Uh, yeah I've played golf all over the world really I mean I've played a lot of a lot of different courses in Europe and here in America um, I think the most special course I've ever played is probably St Andrews I played there in 2009 that was that was really nice I played there right before the open was held there so that was special in all the grandstands um, and we played Oakmont last spring that was really really nice too you're redshirting this season. What are some of the things that you work on as an individual out here at practice to keep your game sharp? Um, I mean, I knew right after school started that the World Am is going to be my next tournament, so I really prepared for this one. I've had a good practice schedule, and uh, I mean, for me, for me right now, the season's probably over, so I'm taking a little bit of a break and trying to trying to get some energy back. Uh, it's quite a long season. I mean, I started in probably January so quite a lot of golf so I'm trying to calm down a little and then try to focus again for for next season. You're the uh, reigning uh, Atlantic Coast Conference individual champion I'm sure a year from now you're looking forward to getting back out there and having a chance to defend that title as well. Yeah yeah I, I hope I can, I can give it a shot in 2014. Ben thanks very much for telling us about your experiences with World Golf. Thank you. Go Hoos!